In this tutorial, we're just going to run through how to create this dynamic swing tag. It's pretty basic, but there's a few little tricks along the way and kinks that you kind of have to figure out. So this is basically just done with a swing deformer and a bounding box and a value two node. We'll just start off by creating some keyframes on our master null. So I'm just hitting shift T, move it around. And I'm just holding shift again as I move it around. And what you can do as well, just copy those keyframes and paste it. So it starts back at the middle. Pretty basic stuff. I'm just going to select all of those and then hit shift one to create magic easing. In this instance, I'm just going to use a value two node. The value two node has a handy feature, which is time offset. So if we just put our position into here, and we can also just put a negative, negative five here, just so it's a bit obvious. And we'll just feed that into our position of our blue circle. Now it follows behind with a simple offset in the time. We can also adjust this here as well, the X and the Y. So if you wanted to, you could just add some noise or an oscillator, but we'll get back to that one soon. So that's the value node. So now I've just created a simple arrow at the bottom here, and we're just going to right click on rotation, add behavior and look at, and then we bring a look at into here and we'll just grab our, say our coral circle. And then if we hit play, you can see it kind of working. So we're just going to play with the, the offset down here. Bring it up to 90 and away we go. Okay, so with our master object here, what we can do is just create a spring. And if we just see how this works. So the thing to note here when we add our spring deformer is that the arrow is actually going with the base motion of the circle. It's not actually following it as it springs, which is a bit annoying. So what we're going to have to do is use a bounding box to get that position around the circle and then ping that to our little friend here. Okay. So with our bounding box created, I'm just going to bring our coral object into it. And you can see position is zero, zero, but that's what we want to do. And we're going to pull this position and put it back into our blue object here. We also have to update the look at the blue object. And then if we hit play, it follows it quite nicely. And the other principles that I use to rig my little swing tag. Okay, so this is pretty much the same setup and I'll just quickly run through how I did it for this. Just set some keyframes. Okay, now I'm going to use a value two node. And this is this value two node here. It's going to be fed into our coral object. And the position is going to be coming from the null. Okay, and I'm just going to change that time offset to two. And I'm also going to bring bring it down quite a bit. So you can just see it follows it a little bit behind. Okay. And on that coral object, I'm also going to add a spring. So I just tweaked those numbers a little bit and just managed to smooth it out a little bit. And there we go. Again, I just selected those keyframes there and hit shift one to smooth that out. And to find out what the shortcuts are, you can just go up to windows, shortcut manager, magic easing and you've got those options there so you might yours might be slightly different to mine so now I'm going to use a bounding box the bounding box is going to 
we're going to feed our coral into the bounding box and the position out is going to come into our little blue friend here. And then on our main shape or the null, your call, um, I'm just going to put a right look at. And here we pop our little friend, the blue guy. And just spin that around 180. And this. Is our dynamic tag. So yeah, it's up to you if you wanted to uh, increase the mass here, the dampening, the damping, sorry, and see what works. But yeah, it's just a bit of trial and error. And just turn those two off. And most importantly, you just come in here and um, spell that with a capital K. Cool. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope that helped. Cheers.